sleeping in public places like sidewalks or parks, they say they'll use compassionate outreach. But that plan also includes using force if needed. CBS News Miami's Larry Seward is in Miami Beach with reaction from both sides. I don't like crowds. I think you all these other stuff. Roderick feels at home on Miami Beach streets. I think they pop over the road and stuff. <laughs> The 54-year-old from Liberty City who walks with a limp says he's too disabled to work and can only afford room in public spaces where it's quiet, but change is coming. But do not mistake our compassion for weakness. There's a strong enforcement element. City leaders plan to compassionately encourage people experiencing homelessness to get help, accept room and shelters, mental health care, and support from outreach teams, nonprofits, city staff, and volunteers. Those refusing face police armed with authority to force out people living on the beach, sidewalks, or parks. Public spaces are for the public, period. There should not be a person sleeping on public property. We don't focus on arrests, like people are saying. What we focus on is connecting with people, we approach it, from a position of empathy. Critics yelling at authorities include activist Kat Boosterhouse, who believes moving people directly into permanent housing is cheaper than arrest. I think it's horrifying. Um, I was homeless at the age of 16, and if it weren't for you know, the kindness of somebody putting me up in housing, I could have been arrested here in Miami Beach. One of the city's partners, the Miami-Dade County Homeless Trust, which helps protect the vulnerable from extreme heat, has questions. Trust Chairman Ron Book says most of the remaining people living on county streets want no part of any shelter. I think any notion that you can arrest your way out of homelessness is absurd and ridiculous. Roderick agrees and wonders what is motivating change. You feel like this is helping you? No. You feel this compassion toward you? No. Mayor Stephen Miner insists his city invested millions to help people like Roderick and his neighbors. Commissioners say homelessness is the number one issue on the minds of residents here. It's also why it is top priority around City Hall. In Miami Beach, Larry Seward, CBS News, Miami.